He did the laugh of a factory worker. Let's begin. The laugh is not always rosy. Imagine waking up to do a day in the life of a factory worker. This morning, my tripod broke. Imagine this. This shit can't hold my phone anymore or my camera anymore. You get me like, this is gone, then this is gone. But the grind don't stop. Nothing's gonna make you give up because of some minor issues. These are just part of life, you get me? Like the way machines are yeah, spoiled. That's how these things are. Like the way you get sick as a human being. That's how these things are. So, so this is a sign for me to get a new trap or the better trap or you get me? So let's go. Like, it's actually sad. It's actually sad that my tripod fell and broke, though. Because now it's stressful for me, so... I just need to get a new tripod as soon as possible. Fresh out of the bathroom. Can see. Shiny like today's bread. So, next, I think I have to get like now is a it's now is six thirty. I woke up at six a.m. Yeah, so now it's six thirty, and we resume at um eight thirty. You get me? So we resume at eight thirty a.m. So I'm just gonna get prepared. You get me? Yeah, I'm gonna show you how I get dressed and things that I wear, things that I take to work and you get me. So for people that are just coming to this channel, yeah, you already know, big chance, you know, big chance. So the reason I'm doing this video, a laugh, a day in the life of a factory worker is because when I came to uni in the UK, in the United Kingdom, yeah, I always, Head of the two kind of jobs that they do here, like mostly, mostly um, care and factory jobs. You get me? So I've always wanted to do a video, like as a factory worker. In my first year, I asked a lot of people that were working in um, factory facilities. Yeah, and I wanted like I wanted to get a job so I could do a video like that. But well, now, since I've got the opportunity here, yeah, I don't want it to pass me by. Though I'm already done with uni. Like tomorrow, today is 15th of July, Monday. Tomorrow is Tuesday, 16th of July, which is my graduation. So I'm also going to make a video, like a day in the life of a Tisa University postgraduate graduate, something like that. You get me? So, yes. I'm a project manager. So this factory job that I'm doing right now, yeah, is to get sad phones, like a sad also, you get me? So, yeah, polypaid CEO, immortal squad record, and a lot of other things. Grand clothing brand is coming soon as well. As a project manager, I've got to, like, manage my own projects. I don't want to be managing other people's projects. I want to be man managing my own projects majorly. You get me? Say less, bro. Say less. See you. If you are going to work here, yeah, most of the um Yeah, so if you are going to work here, yeah, even if you are going for a care job or factory or warehouse, most of the companies here, yeah, they prefer their employees wearing like black or black, uh, black jean or black trouser black top and things like that you get me so i'm wearing thermal suits 
because it's going to be cold, isn't it? Like, the weather is shit. I you are supposed to be in summer, yeah? But there ain't no summer out yet. Like, this is already, like, July 15th, yeah? And summer started technically in May. And we've only had, like, proper sun, like, three times. You see? So, let's, let's do this shit. So, the gin, yeah, after the gin, then this is my black dress and my black shirt I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna use what I've got to walk. You see, this bed is from Italy. Italian bed, leather. <laughs> Put my bed on. I'm still gonna put on the jumper, yeah. I'm still gonna wear a jumper, like, because it's gonna be cold. Then, your sneakers, in it? You can wear it because this fashion I'm going to, yeah, this is different from what I love. Or there are different kind of factories, yeah. There are different kind of factories. So, this one I'm going to is easy. It's one of the easy, in fact, it's the easiest factory. It's one of the easiest factory. So most factory, yeah, you wear your safety boots. Let me show you safety boots. So this is your safety boots. So most factories, you have to wear this. is compulsory for health and safety reasons. So yes, this was what I was wearing to this factory that I'm going to right now, or warehouse I'm going to right now. This was what I was wearing before, but now it got bad. So. I had to switch. So I had to switch. Let's put this on. <laughs> so yeah. Then this is the jumper. Even with this jumper, yeah, I'm still gonna wear my jacket because it's cold, man. Right now it's not that cold, but when it start getting like late, maybe from 3 p.m or from 12, or even from like 11 a.m. Start getting more colder. So yes. Lats. You see? When going to work here, yeah, you have to get ready like for food, water, and things like that, you get me? So these are what I'm taking. This is my lunch. I'll show you guys when I'm eating my lunch, during my lunch break. So I'm just, this, I got this in my fridge, so I'm just going to take it. Why not? I normally don't take uh, this. I, like, I drink Lucas Boost when maybe I'm working on a project. Like during my, um, when I was doing my engineering research project, I use Lucas Boost for more energy. You get me? So I don't really need more energy in this kind of job that I'm going to do right now. So water, this is compulsory. You need to stay hydrated at all time, bro. So this is my backpack. So as you can see, everything is going to fit easy. I've got one end right now. So bear with me, guys. I'm... And be dexterous so I can use left and right. <laughs> it's currently 7.25, so it's time to step out. So I'm going to be using the boss here, yeah? so I'm going to show you guys how the process is. The boss leaves by 7.42, yeah? So I'm going to be there at 7, it's about 5 minutes walk from my place. So I'm going to be there at like 7.32, then wait for about 10 minutes for the bus to come. Then from the bus station to my place of work is, from my bus station to the factory is about um, 28 minutes because I'm going to get there at 8 a.m. Bus leaves by 7.42 and I get there by 8 a.m. So I wait for like 38 minutes then work starts. I'm going to show you guys everything, bro. Let's go. Outside. 
So I'm walking down to the bus station, as you can see. This guy is my fellow co-worker. He's going his way. I'm going my way. Fellow co-worker. My bus stop. So I'm waiting for the bus. Patiently. Boss arrived. These are my fellow co workers. <laughs> Soon, in 20 minutes. So, right uh, here, yeah. this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Oh, yeah. this is this is the part <laughs> where so, this is what I normally do. Your cups on me. You get me? Then this is the machine that washes the cup. You see? So yes. So I don't know what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be doing hand wash or machine wash too. You see? Bro, this is the bathroom. Okay? <laughs> so, I'm gonna be putting the toast. Look, you get me? So, yes. These are bigger toast. They can't go through the machine. So, It's first break. So after break, I think you are coming to do this. And wash. <laughs> So coffee time. So during my first break here, yeah, I normally take coffee. You see? That's why I'm going to go there for the Newcastle. 15 minutes break, guys. 20, 20, 20. Jesus. Coffee. Spilled coffee, but still, still coffee time, innit? So, it's normal. So, like, like you were saying, what did you say? She rent? Yeah, I say whether I'm going to call it hotel for the Newcastle. So, I think after my shift, you are going to Newcastle. You know, I told you guys in the other videos, cities you have to know. As a teacher university student, Newcastle is a monk, so what are we going to do in Newcastle? I'm going to start the graduation part. <laughs> Preamble. Preamble. <laughs> Let's go, guys. 
These are my fellow co-workers. So next task of the day. And wash. Ebenezer from Ghana. <laughs> Jeff Asabo from Nigeria. <laughs> so now it's 12 a.m. Yeah. So this is our second break. 30 minutes break. As you can see the lads. They are in there. You suppose you call the lounge that you talk. Make sure the different assorted food that they bring. Yeah, that that's coming as well. That Ebenezer has one minute food. So I'm microwaving nest. And I'm going to position my own nest. <laughs> and I'm going to call, you know, I told you guys, yeah, if you are looking for a job, yeah, you have to ask. You get me? So one of my friends gave me project management um, agency. So I'm going to call them right now. Yeah, I'm going to call them right now and see if they've got a job for me. If not, I continue washing my Corpse. <laughs> so I'm calling now. I'm looking for a job. Hello. The person you are trying to reach is not available. Please leave a message. Hmm. The person you are trying to reach is not available. Please I'm going to have to try again or send them an email. You get me? So, this is the grind. Grind, don't stop. Niggas here. Niggas already here. So, I'm waiting for my turn to eat. You get me? So, this is Ghanaian. <laughs> it's Ghana <laughs> Jolof. He Ghana eating Ghana Jolof. In Nigeria eating Nigeria beans. And I think there is plantain inside. Yo, it's time for my man. I'm still waiting for the microwave. I'm so hungry and tired. Yeah. Come. Let's go. So let me show you guys, man. This is naja spaghetti and egg. You know, in life, yeah, you have to eat eggs, not just egg, eggs. So yes, let's go devote this. <laughs> Hello. Hi, hi. Hi. This is Miss Call from this number. Yes, this is Chance. So I was giving your number um, for work. I'm a project manager. I just finished from Teesside University. So, okay, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm calling. And are, you, okay, okay. Are you currently looking for a new job at the moment? Yes. Okay, okay. No problem at all. And you just finished from university? Yes, and tomorrow is my graduation as well. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. Okay, so what can I job ask what you're kind of looking for for your job? The kind of jobs I'm looking for. Yes. Yeah, like a project management job. Because it told okay. me that you guys okay. go like PM roles, like project management roles. Yeah, yeah, I am working on them now. Uh, from what I'm gathering, are you what kind of level are you looking for? Entry level. Okay, yeah. So, chance just on just on my side here. So, a lot of the roles I'm working on at the moment are more senior hires. Um, a lot of companies will recruit directly at more entry level positions, so they won't use recruitment agencies. Oh. So. At the, yeah, so I just want to be completely direct with you that a lot of companies will only hire people at entry level directly from themselves and won't won't take it from a recruitment agency. So I suppose what I can do is if you want to share your CV with me and if a job comes up that's more junior level, I can let you know. But just for the time being, we don't really have any entry level roles 
and currently the more senior director level roles. Okay. So, okay, if I want to do that, if I want to apply for a senior level role, what do I have to uh, like, have, like, in my CV? Well, yeah, you will, you'll need to look at the, I suppose we have quite a few jobs online. Now, with the senior level roles, it can be a case that they'll want somebody who has, like, you know, five or ten years experience. I don't know, you know, if you have the, that behind you, but they'll look for years of experience, and then they'll also look at kind of project examples. Yeah. the projects that you have worked on previously so what what you can do is you can share your cv with me as i said i can keep an eye out and then if you want to go onto our website and see if there is any jobs that you feel that you know your experience would align with and then if it's the case that you know that it would match up then we can start to make the pro make progress going forward okay Okay, but it just, I want to, I just want to say just with the entry level roles, they are a little bit here and further between because companies directly apply for a lot of them. And so it might be worthwhile as well, you just having a look at the companies that you're interested in applying to directly um, because you might have more success on that side channel. Okay. Thank okay, you. so um. I can, I'll send you a text just with my um, my email address now, just so you have it, and then you can share your CV, and if something comes up that I think would align with your experience, I can let you know. But um, I'm sorry, I don't have many opportunities at the moment at that entry level. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. Well, thank you so much for your call, Chance. It was lovely speaking to you, and um, best of luck on your graduation and everything. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye. Third break. So this is the third break here. As you can see, we all look tired. This is the Ghanaian. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Nigerian. Like, we are tired right now, but it's cool though. You get me? Big chance. Going for, we're going to close at five. So we've got like one hour, 40 minutes more. You see? Yes, guys. So when you are calling me anywhere, bring phones, bro. Five in, guys. Going back home. End of shift. I'm going home to. I'm back home, guys. He didn't the laugh with factory worker. So now I've done like seven hours or seven hours, 30 minutes of work here. Yeah? So now I need to give myself a treat. You get me? <laughs> I deserve a treat. So yes, that's what I'm doing right now. See you guys later when I do a day in the lab for Petisa University postgraduate graduates because tomorrow is my graduation. I believe you all know that I deserve a treat. That you all know that soon. <laughs>